Since winning the David Cato Vision and Voice Award, I've been asked to speak to major international groups such as delivering the Robert Kai Memorial Lecture at MSNGF. I've been asked to present at the launch of the Global Commission on HIV and the Law by the UNDP. And I've also been asked by Amnesty International to speak on, de on holding pride in criminalized context, which is where I am right now. These opportunities would never have been afforded to me had I not been the recipient of the David Cato Vision and Voice Award. There was absolutely no restriction on how I could spend the $10,000 that was awarded. It was wonderful to have that latitude to do what I wanted with the money. Maurice. The important thing is that the Pride events, stands, whatever you want to call them, have you know, presented the LGBT community to the society. They can no longer deny us. Um, yes, we're small in number, but we're there. I've done a fair bit of talking about David's life and what it has meant to me, the work that we've been doing in both Jamaica and in Uganda to achieve LGBT human rights. Pioneer and pariah are just two of the epithets I am sure that have been used to describe David Cato. Because of his unwavering commitment to advocating for the full human rights of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and intersex individuals. I've done some traveling to jurisdictions which criminalize same-sex intimacy to advocate for the decriminalization. Also, with my husband, doing training of police on how to deal with human rights violations against LGBT. The greatest thing I've been able to accomplish as a result of winning the David Cato and Vision and Voice Award is gaining access to individuals and especially political leaders who are able to shape policy, shape legislation, shape the way the laws impact on LGBT. That has been tremendous. The, the responses from police has been abysmal. I, I think we can help in that respect. Yeah. We can write mm -hmm. to Diffid mm -hmm. and ask them. I hope that the David Cato Vision and Voice Award will continue to recognize persons who are really working hard to bring human rights for all LGBT across the world. Um, because this recognition does two things. It enables the activists to gain access. And it also serves as a critical motivator for activists who sometimes are beaten down by the, you know, the work that we do. And so I hope that the award will continue to highlight these people to be inspirations in their own countries and for other countries. David inspired me, even though he was from Uganda. I promise, in David Cato's name, that I will never abandon my role in the struggle for the full human rights of LGBT until those human rights are fully realized. <laughs>